Greetings, salutations, guys. Here and here. Welcome to. Uh, I think this is gonna be 12 days, 17, 18, 17 and 18 of Vlogmas. And I'm so sorry that I have been really bad at doing Vlogmas this year, but I didn't wanna, like, I told myself I wasn't gonna put, like, too much pressure on myself to just film and, like, post some Vlogmas video every day. So, uh, yeah. But today is Saturday, and we have, this is, like, the last weekend, right? Before Christmas? It's the last weekend before Christmas. Oh my gosh, it is the last weekend before Christmas. So, this is the last thrifting weekend before the uh, before the big day, and I'm really excited to see what we can go find. We have one last sale tonight too at 10 p.m. Pacific time. Uh, well, this is gonna be in the past when you guys are watching this, but you can still watch the replay. I'll have it linked right there, and it's the last day uh, or the last sale before the cutoff date for priority mail shipping, which is the 19th on Monday, which I think is when this video is gonna go out. So, um, you can still watch that video. If you catch me in time and see anything that you like in the video um, and would like to purchase anything and have it shipped, uh, you, you might still be able to reach me or get me um, purchased before the cutoff time. So, if you see anything, let me know. Also, there's two airplanes flying really close together up there. I think they're like practicing some sort of formation thing. Anyway, uh, I'm really excited to go thrifting and see what we can find for the live sale tonight. So I'm going to try to take you guys along with me and film as much as I can, but it's going to be a really busy, hectic, crazy day. And I try to go in and out as quickly as possible because I want to go to a lot, a lot of stores. So forgive me if I don't film like as much. I'm going to try to film as much as I can and show you guys all the cool stuff that I see today. All right, I'll see you guys over at the first store. Okay, we are in the first store. It's a crossroads. Uh, trying to see if we can find anything cool. This Rebecca, that's kind of cute. Mm, oh, I'm on store Gabrielle, 47.50. Is it too worn or is that cool looking? All right, we're at our next stop. This is the next crossroads. This is in Sunset. How cute is this little puzzly looking bag? It's a Zara one. Um, there's this Kate Spade. Um, GW Pay, little belt bag, Urban Outfitters, that one's pleather I think, um, no, it's kind of like <laughs> crazy over here, it's like a storm came through here, oh look at this vintage Dooney, oh no, what happened there? Oh, this one's a Marc Jacobs. This is cute. It looks new. How much is this guy? 32? Yeah. Okay, guys, we're at another store. I found an All Saints, a Marc Jacobs, and this is a Madewell bag. Cute. Yeah, I think that's it here, though. So we're going to head over to the next store. All right, we just got to Goodwill in Anaheim. This is currently the only regular Goodwill I think there is, because I think the other one just closed because they're moving locations. But this is the one on Euclid. Okay, handbags. These Target ones are always so cute, but I know they're just pleather and I don't want them to start peeling. Tutio, Rosetti. Wallets. Pouches. I do love a good wallet and a good pouch though, right? Ooh, this one's a watermelon. Festive. Handbags. It's a Sunday, so I feel like the handbags are picked over intensely during the weekend. But anything's possible, you can still find something cool. Is this a Dooney? Oh no, it's Claiborne. I'm like, wait, what is that? Okay, let's check out the rest of the store. Oh, do they have anything cool in here? This is kind of interesting for utensils and stuff, but I feel like all this stuff is gonna fall if I grab it. So I'm kind of scared. Um, yeah, never mind. I don't even want to touch it. It's not worth it. There's this evil eye thing, $7.99. I'm gonna ward off the evil stuff. It's kind of 
cool. Do I want this? How cool is this cauldron for like Halloween? Four bucks, it's just plastic. You guys, I just found the cutest little Totoro backpack. I think it's for babies. Okay, a quick glance through the backpacks and the luggage. Then it brings us into the mugs. Ooh, I love the mugs. Okay, let's see. Sorry, oh, this Starbucks? I don't think so. Looks very similar to one, though. Very similar to a Starbucks mug. Um, no. Those look like Mickey Mouse hands. Ooh, yellow plates. Oh my gosh, how cute. This little bunny's popping out on the side. Oh, there's another one right there. So fun. Oh, a tart thing. Um, oh, only $3.99. That is actually not bad for that. It looks like a really nice one too, but we have a couple of those already, so I definitely don't need that at the moment. Though those are like good gifts and stuff too, especially if you're going to like a party and you're going to bring something. If you make one of those, just take it and then like give it to the host, hostess, as a gift. And it's like a two for one. Hallmark. Cool. This is actually kind of pretty. I like that it's matte. These bowls are kind of cute too. I like the vibe of them. I like the shape too. Two ninety nine. Hmm. We'll think about it. But look how pretty. The colors are nice too. Any other cool plates? Those are fun. Oh, I, I feel like I see this thing everywhere I go. It's a Mikasa thing, but it's like a gift from like an airlines or something. Okay teapot this is like an interesting looking teapot right uh american something heritage i think okay i don't think i see oh these are pretty <gasps> these would actually be amazing in like a like a regular plate version oh so pretty these are porcelain of course oh my gosh these would be great in like a regular plate now we're gonna search for them. What if I just missed them? Mm, we have those plates, these. I also like just like regular white plates. I always search for like Pottery Barn or Crate and Barrel, West Elm or something. Cause I collect them, but I don't think I see any of those plates in like a different size. These are kind of fun. Oh, these are melamine. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. I actually thrifted one of these um, like last year or early this year. But like, I have one of these. And it's supposed to have like this thing that goes around. It's like a cutting board. And these are like, um, you, you put like a... Uh, different things inside like you put you grate the cheese in there you can have like lettuce tomatoes or whatever um and then like different like seasonings and stuff but yeah i thrifted like a whole set one and i still have it like mom loves it she actually really likes the little containers these containers are actually pretty useful but they have just like done everything individually it looks like and it's missing that other part I don't know if it's just like hiding around here somewhere, but um, these things are really nice. They're pretty expensive too, but I don't think I'm going to need that. Oh, these are cool. <gasps> Stop for lunches. I think I like these. Hold on a second. Okay, how cool, right? And it has a built-in like little spork thing. Oh, they're $5.99 each. Should I get these? Maybe. There's one for each of the boys. I might get these. I'm going to think about it. I'm going to ask my sister or my mom. Alright. I think I'm going to not do the little snack or food container things. Um, I don't know. They kind of look like they might be yelling a little. But I don't know. Uh, so I'm just going to leave those. I did find them online though. They're like $18 each. Something like that on Amazon. So... Yeah... I don't think I see really any crystal that's too interesting either. 
I feel like this would be a good gift. Boundary by Godinger. Godinger. Set up for $8.99. This is actually like a pretty cool bowl. A bowl. I couldn't see any markings on it though underneath. Ooh, look at this face. Pretty. This one is... It has something on here. Royal Dalton. Is it cracked anywhere? It's gorgeous. It's only $16.99. I like Googled it. It was like literally one of the first things that popped up. There's one for $35 bucks on eBay. Mm. Okay. Maybe we'll pass for now. Maybe it goes on sale. Oh, this is like a nice... Oh, it's broken. I was like, this is like a cool glass bowl, but it's like chipped on both sides. Ooh! Ah! Okay, well, Adrian just found something very exciting that he's gonna buy. This is perfect! $12.99! Hot diggity dog! Can you believe this? Oh my gosh! I have a set that matches this. Hey guys, okay, so we are back at the house and I have so many goodies to share with you guys. So we went to the Goodwill, but then after that I also went to a couple other buy sell trade stores, which I didn't film in, but I'll show you guys what I got. So, um, let me show you what I got at uh, the Goodwill. I ended up getting this amazing ice bucket and it's an iridescent one. It totally goes with a collection of stuff that I got from Anthropology. I don't believe this is the actual um, Anthropology piece. This is a vintage one, which I believe actually is, um, I don't know, th these are actually pretty expensive. I looked it up, I think like resale of these online are like over $60 or something like that. But I'm definitely keeping this in the collection because it totally goes with all the iridescent and stuff that I thrifted that were our anthropology. So very excited. And this one is only $12.99. So it was an amazing deal. And now I have that piece to go with all my other stuff. So I'm very excited. It's so pretty. And I am over the moon. Mom is also very excited. She's already seen it. And she is like, woo! So yeah, really, really fun. So I got that. And then the other thing that I got... <laughs> this cute little Totoro backpack. I think this is like a little kid's backpack because the little uh, straps are tiny. It's for like a tiny little angel. But it is so adorable. And it's in such great condition. Even has this little thing on the zipper pull to open it. This was $4.99. So I had to pick it up. It is so cute. And I don't have any children to give this to. So I'll put this up in one of the live sales to see if anyone's interested. But it is the cutest little backpack. I'm obsessed. So yeah, there's that guy. And I think that rounds out pretty much everything that I got from... The Goodwill, I just got those two things, but now let's see what I got from the buy sell trade stores. Uh, I've been kind of like not filming as much recently when I go out just because this like month has been so busy and I feel like thrifting is kind of like my me time more relaxed and just like filming kind of gets like kind of crazy sometimes when you're out thrifting. So um, I've just given myself some time to kind of just like relax because it's just been go, go, go since like October. And <laughs> I know I was supposed to be doing Vlogmas and everything, but to just like save my sanity, um, I've just not really been uh, vlogging as much. So I hope that's okay. But I have been finding some really good stuff still. Uh, let me start off with these Rockies. And I'm so sorry about my mom already called these. She's already claimed them. Um, finally, Rockies that like fit her in her size. So these are size eight and a half. They were $24 at Crossroads. And they're like literally like, look how clean they are on the bottom. I don't think these have like really ever been worn. And yeah, and they're like a great color. It's like a cream color. And they have like this stripe on the back. So very excited about these these and so is mom and she's like those are mine <laughs> hers so she called them those are going to her then oh i got this really comfy looking sweater it's just a champion sweater i also got this from crossroads also 24 bucks 
and it's in this maroon color. I cannot wait to wash this and then wear it. Look how soft and squishy it looks. It's a double, no. It's, oh no, it says double XL on the tag, um, but they only put XL on this tag, but I just wanted like a really big comfy sweater and this is going to fit the bill. I'm really excited and yes. Look how comfy this looks. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I really cannot wait to wash this and wear it. So that is probably gonna go in the wash tonight after I film this. The next thing that I have, I got a bunch of bags. So let's start off with this guy right here. This is just a little Madewell crossbody drawstring bucket bag style. And it's very similar to the transport tote except it has like the little drawstring feature up at the top. So, 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 so cute. I really love this mustard color as well. Not too much wear on this. It's pretty good. There is a little bit of rubbing on the corners, but that's just what happens to these bags after a while. But I feel like when they age with you over time, I feel like they look even better. I feel like it looks so cute already as is. Crossbody strap, adjustable, removable, and yeah, just a little top handle. It's unlined inside with just one interior pocket. Got this guy for $28. And there is our little Madewell bag right there. Then up next, I have, oh, this one is a little love satchel from Michael Kors. So cute. I actually have... Uh, a version of this in pink. It's a little bit different, but this one is in a like a Safiano style leather. It's nice and rigid. It does need some cleaning on the back, but that's okay because that's easy to do. And I think that's the reason why it was also only $28. So sometimes when bags just need a little bit of a cleaning, they will lower the price. And like, don't ever be afraid of just like cleaning up a bag a little bit because you're going to get the rewards in the savings. Um, there also is a little bit of denting in the leather, but we can fix that by just stuffing it and then maybe heating up the bag a little bit with either a hair dryer or um, a heat gun if you have one at a low setting. But yeah, really, really cute bag. The interior is also in a Safiano in like a brown tan color. And there's a middle zipper pocket and it's, it's nice and clean on the inside. Great bag. Also does have this little lock charm right there crossbody strap you're ready to go and plus i really like this ox blood color and who doesn't love love right so really cute bag up next i have this tory birch bag it's just a nice little satchel in this pretty blue color it is missing the crossbody strap but you can easily attach one you can use like a chain strap or um even do like a contrasting strap i think would be really nice and it's just uh, has gold hardware it does have like some signs of wear there's some like rubbing on the corners and stuff but i feel like it's still in pretty good shape this was only 20 dollars and so i thought it was a, still a pretty good deal and i thought it was a really cute bag there's a little front pocket right there interior has a zipper pocket and two open pockets it's not uh, doesn't have too much uh, discoloration or anything in the inside. So I, I think it's just a heavily loved bag, but has been kept in good condition. So there's this guy. Love that. Up next, I have this cute Kate Spade, like little hobo shoulder bag. And it's in this ivory leather and it's quilted. I love that with the light gold hardware. Just has Kate Spade right here across the front. I also really like that the little shoulder strap actually is removable and so is the crossbody strap. So you can wear it with both of them on or remove one or the other, or you can remove both and then just use this as a clutch because I think it'd be a really nice clutch as well. It does need some cleaning. Um, there's some discoloration at the bottom. There's a little bit of rubbing on the corners. So we'll see what we can do about that. But otherwise, the bag is in great shape. $37.50 for the bag. Um, interior is in pretty good shape as well. Just needs a little bit of a cleaning at the bottom. I think there's a, I see like a little stain. And it does dip across the top, which is fantastic. We love that. And this is also a newer style as well from Kate Spade. So that's nice. But I really like that it's like a, kind of like a hobo style bag. And this will hold a ton, even though it's not like a super large size. And I just love its versatility. And the leather on this is really soft and squishy as well. And I love a good quilted bag. So there's that. Oh, I forgot this one almost. Oh my gosh. While we are on the subject of Rothy's, I have this. Okay, this is actually brand new. 
with tags Rothy's tote. I've never had a Rothy's tote before. This is my first time finding one. And the other ones I found have been just like the um, the satchels. And this one is so cool. It was pretty expensive though, $85. But again, new with tags. Rothy's bags are pretty expensive. This one is brand new. It comes with the dust bag. The, um, it also comes with the, this is the bag that you put this bag in when you want to wash it. You just throw it in the washing machine inside of here. So it's a little wash bag. It does zip across the top. And I really do like the colors too. It's like a cream, a light pink. And then this is just like a, like a salmon, like an electric salmon color. It's really cool. Um, yeah, beautiful tote. It's a great size. Sits really nicely on your shoulder. It's a great everyday bag, gym bag, travel bag. And I love that you can throw this into the washing machine and clean it. So considering it is a lighter colored bag, you don't really have to worry about it getting dirty because it's really easy to wash. And yeah, beautiful bag. I also love that they took the stripes into the handles as well, which I think is a really nice touch. So I appreciate that. And it does zip across the top as well. And size, com in size comparison to like a Louis Vuitton, this is a similar size to the Neverfull GM, but it zips across the top and it's washable. And that's fantastic. And Rafi's stuff is so nice and well-made. So very excited about this tote. I don't know, I might want to keep this for myself, but I think I will let it go. I think I would want like a different color. I would love like something with the electric blue. Oh, amazing. I once had a satchel in that electric blue color and it was so, so good and you guys loved it. So I love finding Rothy's bags for you guys because I know there's quite a few you guys that do enjoy those bags and I really like them too. And I would love to add one to my collection. I just want to find one in the right color. Up next, this one is very exciting. Uh, whenever I find a Dooney and Burke Disney bag, I always get very excited. This one was $47.50. It's a cute little crossbody, and it has like vintage Mickey stuff all over it. It has the little, um, the hat. It has the castle. It has like downtown Disney and all that good stuff and like vintage Disney tickets. This was $47.50. I also really do like that it has this cute little Dooney and Birch hang tag, which I think is a nice touch. And it has a contrasting uh, like brown leather trim. There's a nice large front pocket right here, zips at the top, and then the interior is in this red color. Um, it does have some minimal signs of wear, but I feel like it's still in pretty good shape. There's some, some slight rubbing on the leather piping at the bottom corners and a little bit like on the handles, but I mean, so much life left. A uh, little bit of discoloration at the top where the zipper is. Um, but this is like the quintessential Disney park bag because it's small, it's lightweight, it's easy to carry, but it can still hold a good amount. And yeah, who doesn't love a Disney Dooney and Burke bag. These are so cool. And I know that a lot of people do collect these bags as well. And they are really, really fun. So we got that $47.50 for this guy. Up next, I have, oh, this one is really, really nice. This is a Claire Vivier little kiss lock clutch. And it's in this black perforated leather. I love the way that it's perforated. Like they look like kind of like mermaid scales or fish scales, right? And it's in this really squishy black leather. It has the silver hardware up at the top and this pops up like this. And it does also have the Claire Vivier dust bag on the inside and we have our chambray fabric lining in there. We have a little Made in USA tag, all of Claire V stuff. Um, the, her leather goods are made in the US, which I think is really nice. And I believe they're all made locally in LA which I think is really cool too. So beautiful clutch, super soft. Um, you can use this as an everyday clutch or an evening clutch. I mean, I feel like clutches have made their way into like daytime wear as well. And this one with its squishiness and like the cool way they did the leather, I feel like is definitely something that you can use on a day-to-day -day basis. And yeah, I just think it's really cool. And I, the leather is beautiful and I'm obsessed. So here we have this guy, I'm trying to see what is under, oh, okay, yeah. So it's just the fabric that's underneath. You see there, there is a little bit of like marks on it. Like I think that's just like a, like a stain, but that, I 
pretty sure that's easily removable. Um, either just stick with some leather conditioner or even just a unscented baby wipe will do the trick cleaning that off. Okay, and then I believe this is gonna be um, one of our last items. This is a beautiful mustard colored um, Kate Spade flat bag and this was $40. I love the little turn lock right here. Uh, the color is so, so pretty. And I love that it has the crossbody or shoulder combination strap right here. There's a nice back pocket turn lock here on the front. And here is the interior. It still has the little care cards inside. And we just have one interior pocket. And yeah, beautiful bag. I love the little turn lock too. This is also a newer style. There's also a back pocket, which is fantastic for your cell phone. And a really great bag. Again, the color on this is spectacular. I really like this like mustardy yellow color. This one's a little bit of a lighter mustard color than this one that I showed you guys earlier. And this one also has a little bit more of like a brown in it. This is almost like a Dijon. And this is maybe like a like Heinz yellow mustard. So really, really cute. And our last item of the day which I believe I'm going to be keeping for myself is this amazing Chanel clutch wallet. It's in this super soft lambskin leather, metallic silver. It's a chevron with silver hardware. Um, I've already like been using it to keep like my receipts inside of it, but it's so pretty, it's so pretty. So there's like this back compartment right here. There's a middle zipper pocket that's lined in leather. It's essentially two pouches connected. And then on the other side, like you can put your cards inside of there. And yeah, and it's in really great shape too. Like beautiful, so squishy, and I'm very excited about it. Um, this one was from a consignment store and I got this one for $500, which I mean is expensive, but it's a good price, I think, for a Chanel pouch. And I'm very excited. Plus I'm just probably, I'm, Probably gonna keep this in my collection at least for a while. And I just love the metallic silver and the leather, again, so soft. I'm obsessed. So that is gonna be our last item for the day. Our Chanel, let me know what your favorite thing was that we showed today. Um, also, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for a new video. Um, check out the live sales. They're all scheduled for the rest of the year for December. Uh, and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. All right, love you guys, adios.